it's so good to see you. How are you doing? How's your day going? My day is going well. It's not too bad. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. This is a little bit different. It's not really that different. But Natasha Denona came out with a brand new mini palette. I was very, very intrigued. It's a mini retro palette. It's like a soft pink, very 60s. Gives me like a Pleasantville vibe. Yeah, hold your horses. If you watch Pleasantville, I know you know that it's in black and white. I'm very well aware. A little headband, a little bouffant, a little poodle skirt. All about it, right? No? Oh, well, I was all about it anyway. So I bought it. I was like, mine. Thank you. Mine. So that's what we get to play with today. And it came in the mail. The palette itself runs $25. It comes in a little cardboard box. Let's just tuck that. It's all nice and it's like rose gold. And those are the shades that come included. Back of the box. I thought I would never get one of these mini palettes, but you know, it's Natasha Denona. I'm a fan of her formula. I got my first taste of Natasha Denona in an Allure beauty box where they included just like a single shade pan. And then I actually opened up the Trend Mood box and that also included a mini Tropic palette. If you're curious about either of those, I'll actually put that up there so you can watch it at your leisure. And when I saw that they had this mini retro palette up, I was all about it. I had to have it. Mine, 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 mine. I know, <laughs> I'm so bad. So if you're interested in watching me talk and play with this palette, let's just go back in time and see how it goes. But before I jump too far back, <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get to see some more of me. And if you like this video, don't forget to throw a like down there as well, you know? Don't be shy, throw a nice little thumbs up and be like, thumb, thumb, thumbs up because I'd appreciate it. Thanks. I have way too much caffeine. Way too much caffeine. <laughs> From what I've seen, this is actually not an original palette. They're not all original shades, or they're not all new shades. Three of them actually exist already, and then there are two new shades. I don't have any of these, <laughs> so to me, all five are new. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. Yeah. That's the one thing I'm not a fan of. I mean, it's 20, you're literally paying $5 per pan, but the formula to me, it works well. The colors show up, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So that is the whole shade range right there. All right, and let's swatch these. Ooh, this one doesn't actually look like it's set in the pan properly. It's raising up a little bit. Do you see that? Well, at least it didn't break, so I need to be extra careful in that one. I'll push it back in a little bit. And I'm actually going to swatch them a little bit harder than I usually do. I don't know. I like keep going back and forth on my swatches. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I want it light so I get a, a good idea. But then it looks like crap. And I feel like I'm not doing the palette justice. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All the, the shades are super creamy, as expected. I have yet to like put my hand on a Natasha Denona palette that didn't feel like super creamy. Where? Is there a color right there? Oh, I missed it. All right, so that's all five shades. This one is just tough to see. This is Galaxia. It's a light nude with green and blue sparks. It is an existing shade and shows up in the Star Eyeshadow Palette. Then we have Industrial, which is a green taupe with silver reflex and it's an existing shade in 28 eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is 60s, which is a greenish gray, and this is actually a new shade. Then we have this non-existent vintage taupe. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's definitely gonna have to be a transition shade. It's Antique Rose, and it is an existing shade in the Tropic eyeshadow palette. And the last one is Pixie Pink. Uh, it's pink with champagne shift, and this is a new shade. Yeah, it looks great. I think it's gonna work out well. Everything looks like it's showing up. The only thing that isn't really exciting is that vintage taupe one, but as a transition shade, it's not supposed to be exciting. It's not supposed to like jump off. So I have my eyebrows all done. So I'm just going to go into the palette and I'm gonna start out with that non-existent shade on me, that soft pink vintage taupe. 
And I don't think I mentioned, but the palette only has two mattes. So it's like the vintage taupe and the the 60s. There are only two mattes on there anyway. So you, you're quite limited. Like you definitely need to want this look in your life or these colors in your life to get this particular palette, just so you know. It is quite a bit of fallout. And I'm just using the brush from the Morphe Sweetie Collection. So there it is. It's interesting because I thought the gray would be a lot darker. I mean, you can see it, but I want there to be a difference between these and these. So that's where I'm at. But that's what it's looking like so far. So that is what the industrial is looking like. Very, very pretty. Galaxia. Oof, it's a nice silver though. It gives it like this weird wet metal look, which I love. I'm actually gonna go in with Pixie and try and do that inner corner just to make it a little bit more vibrant. That's what my eyes are looking like. Um, to be honest, I'm honestly a little... I also got the Natasha Denona Foundation X Full Coverage Fruit Complex. This is in the shade 91 NY Deep. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually gonna match me, but I used uh, Sephora's website, so fingers crossed it actually looks good. We shall see. That is what the bottle looks like. This actually costs $45. My little foundation brush. Let's see how this color looks. It's looking light. <laughs> it's looking real light. What in the world? Sephora, why did you do this to me? It is so freaking light. Oh, you can buff it out though. I like the fact that you can blend it out. And it's full coverage. Oh, it's not looking that bad. Oh, it's just so light. I'm like, why would I do this to myself? Sephora, your app sucks. Your app sucks. Okay, well, it does match my chest, but it's weirding me out. Ooh, and I like the matte finish. Ah! But uh, this is not that bad. And it blends really, really well. So that actually makes me happy. And it matches my neck. Usually it's like a darker up top and then a little lighter down. Ah. Okay, Sephora, maybe you did mismatch me, but don't look bad. I'm a fan of the foundation under first impressions. I mean, it doesn't look streaky. It blended out really well. It's a lighter shade than what I'm used to. And I still... I'm not mad at it. I wonder if my concealer is going to be darker than this. That'd be weird. That'd be really weird. No, it's not. Feel <laughs> lighter. <laughs> this is not how I usually look. I'm not used to a foundation this light at all. But it looks good. This is just very, very odd. I'm going to dive back into my under eye. So I'm gonna try and go as deep as possible with my under eyes, just because I know this palette doesn't really deepen. I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'll be right back. So I have my, wow, my lips are looking really dark. I think I overlined them a little bit too much, but that's okay though, don't worry about it. And I'm gonna go back in with Pixie and actually try and use that as a highlight. I'm actually just gonna pat it on so it's not too much. Apparently it's not anything at all. Why isn't this showing? Are you seeing it? I'm seeing a highlight, but I'm not actually seeing color. Oh no, it's not good. Yeah, I thought it would be pink. It's, it's absolutely not showing up. And this is Pixie. Definitely got a highlight going on. It's a nice highlight though, I'll tell you that. It's so weird. Like I would think it would be pink. And I'm gonna just put a little bit underneath my brow bone just to make it a little higher, I guess. I'm so surprised this is not showing up as a color. Like, hmm, I don't know, maybe it's how that light's hitting it. Final thoughts on the mini retro palette? Skip it, <laughs> like honestly. For $25? No, absolutely not. I'm like considering if I really love the shimmer shades enough to keep it. Because two of the shades are like non-existent for me. They 
barely show up on my skin. Like, I get that they're supposed to be sheer colors, but you should be able to build them. Especially for $5 a pan. Yeah, you need to be able to build these colors, okay? So clearly she wasn't thinking about me. Um, the shimmers, they're great. For some reason, I don't understand why I can't see this pink right here. Like, I can see the highlight. I can definitely see the highlight. I just can't see the color. And I know I'm not pink. <laughs> like, I know that's not my shade, so I don't understand what's happening. So that's literally three out of five that I'm running into issues with. So is two pans worth it for $25? The answer is no. Skip it. Skip it, girl. Skip it. Run. Let it go. Yeah, the Industrial Shimmer and the Galaxia, they're both beautiful colors, but they're also in other palettes. So if you have those other palettes, I would just skip this. I don't know what she was doing. It's gorgeous in the pictures. Looks pretty in the pan. Sad. That's $25 gone. Foundation, I'm okay with it. I think the color was a little off, although you can't really tell. I'm gonna try and do an exchange and see if I can get it in a deeper shade and see how I like it. But so far, so good. But that's the video. Enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.